the Illuminati, a powerful secret society or just a conspiracy theory? This organization has been linked to countless conspiracy theories, each more captivating than the last. Secret symbols in music videos, cryptic lyrics, even claims of artists selling their souls for fame and fortune. And then there's the darker side. Satanic worship and a hidden agenda to control the world. Are they a powerful secret society? As we delve deeper into the shadows, the line between fact and fiction blurs. But the question remains, who is really in control? Who really pulls the strings behind the music industry? The Illuminati, a hidden society, or a figment of our collective imaginations? The name Illuminati is as enigmatic as the theories that surround it. Born from the Bavarian Secret Society founded in 1776, this group has been the subject of countless conspiracy theories for centuries. The Illuminati as we know it today is believed by some to be a clandestine group of world leaders and influential figures working behind the scenes to control global affairs. Their ultimate goal is to establish a new world order, a single world government that would hold absolute power over the globe. This idea of a new world order has its roots in the original Bavarian Illuminati. The founder, Adam Weishaupt, was a professor who wanted to spread enlightenment ideals and oppose religious influence and abuses of state power. He formed his own society, recruiting mature wealthy individuals and used a system of mutual espionage. Over time, these theories evolved and expanded, weaving their way into various aspects of popular culture. From literature to films and even music, the Illuminati has been portrayed as a shadowy, omnipotent force controlling every aspect of our lives. But where do these theories come from, and how have they managed to persist for so long? Some argue that it's a natural human tendency to seek patterns, to make sense of the world around us. Regardless of their origins, these conspiracy theories about the Illuminati have become a fascinating part of our cultural fabric. They've sparked countless debates and discussions, inviting us to question what we know about the world. But what if these theories are more than just theories? What if there's a grain of truth in them? As we plunge further into the cryptic labyrinth of the Illuminati, we cannot overlook the controversial assertions of their insidious control over the music industry. Let's paint a picture. A thirsty artist, eager for recognition, ready to risk everything for a taste of fame and fortune. There are whispers of eerie rumors, tales shared in low, fearful murmurs, of artists who have allegedly traded their souls to the devil. A pact sealed in the dark, loyalty in return for a golden path to stardom. An unnerving prospect, isn't it? Rumors suggest that the Illuminati, if they indeed wield such authority, use the universal platform of music to propagate their agenda. How, you ask? The clues may be hidden in the very songs we cherish and hum along to. Lyrics subtly filled with cryptic meanings, symbols quietly embedded in music videos, subliminal messages intricately interlaced within the rhythm and melody. These elements are all allegedly designed to manipulate our minds, dictate our actions, and fashion our worldview. Let's delve more into these rumors. They suggest that the music we appreciate, the songs that move us, could be laced with secret messages. Songs that we sing along to could carry cryptic symbols tucked away in their videos. Our favorite tracks might be carrying a rhythm intertwined with subliminal messaging that subtly influences our actions, controls our psyche, and shapes our entire perspective of the world. But let's turn our spotlight to the artists. Are they merely acting as marionettes, their strings jerked by the invisible hands of the Illuminati? Or are they conscious collaborators, complicit this alleged conspiracy? It's a disconcerting thought, isn't it? To consider that the music we lose ourselves in, the songs that stir our souls, could be part of a grander design. A scheme controlled by a secret society, operating from the shadows, manipulating our thoughts, our behaviors, our very existence. Is the music industry just a pawn in the hands of this concealed society? And if so, what does this signify for us, the listeners? As we delve deeper into the enigma of the Illuminati, these are the probing questions we must confront. For if there's one thing we've gleaned, it's that nothing is as it appears when it comes to the Illuminati. Behind the alluring veil of fame and fortune, a darker reality exists. Do we dare to expose it? As disquieting as it may be, our attention is now drawn to the more disturbing aspects of the Illuminati, an organization steeped in conspiracy and controversy. 
Gossip permeates our world, whispers of the Illuminati's ties with Satanism infiltrating every corner. These aren't merely vague insinuations found in the darkest corners of the web, but bold accusations made against the most celebrated personalities in music and entertainment, alleging they sold their souls for success and recognition. But what could this disconcerting phrase possibly mean? Selling one's soul is often metaphorically understood, representing the forsaking of one's morality for worldly gains. However, within the context of the Illuminati, some argue it assumes a more literal meaning. They allege initiates swear an eternal oath to malevolent forces, trading their spiritual sovereignty for worldly power and prestige. These claims are deepened by the Illuminati's historical links with Freemasonry, a society renowned for its rich tapestry of ritualistic ceremonies. Adam Weishaupt, the mind behind the Illuminati, was a Freemason. Infusing the rites of Freemasonry into the Illuminati, he sparked speculation that these practices might contain elements of Satanism. Allegedly, their rituals involved clandestine meetings, the presence of occult symbols, and complex ceremonies. The pentagram, a symbol closely related with Satanism, is often associated with the Illuminati. Another symbol often linked with the Illuminati is the all-seeing eye, a symbol synonymous with surveillance, knowledge, and power. But why would the Illuminati supposedly worship the devil? The devil, in this context, is seen as a figure of rebellion against the status quo and authority. A philosophy that astonishingly aligns with the Illuminati's main objective to resist religious influence and abuses of governmental power. Rumors of ritualistic practices and sacrifices further add fuel to these allegations. Tales of blood sacrifices and devilish rites performed under the cloak of secrecy circulate within conspiracy theory circles, adding a layer of horror to the Illuminati's mystique. The implications of these practices are profound, particularly within the music industry. Accusations of artists using their works to further the Illuminati symbolism, either willingly or under coercion, have been made. Lyrics, music videos, and performances are said to be riddled with occult references, normalizing and disseminating their ideology. Are these only the products of fear-stoked conspiracies, or is there a kernel of truth hidden within these alarming accusations? The existence of the Illuminati, their influence over the music industry, it's all a matter of perspective. In the end, it's up to each of us to draw our own conclusions, to weigh the evidence, sift through the theories, and decide for ourselves what we believe. The truth may be hidden, but one thing is certain, the music plays on, and so does the mystery of the Illuminati. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update.